Yo what's up guys Anubhav here welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel now i know i've been pretty inconsistent lately but as you can see we are in a new space and the reason it took me a little while to get these videos up and running is because i was creating this entire space making sure that everything from the video quality to the audio was perfect so first of all let me know how the new space looks to you how it sounds to you let me know in the comments below hope you like the little accents here and there with that said In today's video we're talking about how to be more productive whether you're a person who's a content creator online or you're a student who wants to do well on his exams productivity is the name of the game especially here in 2022 and I thought I'll take this opportunity talk about my favorite productivity applications not apps that I have taken from a random list anywhere apps that I genuinely use every single day to help with my productivity in one way or the other so if this video interests you guys be sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel with that said Let's get started and let's not waste any time. All right guys, now that we're talking about personal productivity in 2022, let me introduce you to an application called Scribe. Scribe is an application that I have never seen before. This is an application that lets you easily create step-by-step -step guides or tutorials in a matter of seconds and share it either with your teammates or with anybody that you're trying to explain something to do. Now, this is crazy because every time my parents or a teammate asks me to show them a certain thing how to do it on the computer, you usually talk to them on the phone you try to explain to them and then sometimes if it doesn't end up happening all you decide is all right you know what the next time i meet you or the next time i come over or you come over i'm going to show you how to do it because there's just no way to explain it it's just very very complicated certain things with scribe these issues are a thing of the past scribe lets you create easy recordings on your desktop where it you basically perform whatever you have to do whether it is creating or you're sharing a youtube video or doing something on your computer and after it is done scribe intelligently you know transforms it into this step by step list on how to do something and now you can share that guide or tutorial to anybody you want inside your scribe account you can also add your own teammates and basically you know let them view edit as well as create another or more scribes for your company or your team this can be helpful in a lot of use cases number 1 if you're a company and if you are fellow employees and you need to you know explain something to one another and you can use peer to peer learning to do something like this you know it helps onboarding into a new piece of software or into a new piece of uh, knowledge database super super simple because you can use this to create very concise very professional step by step guides that you know you can share with people honestly i think it's the most productive application in this list and you know it's really weird that i have never heard of this application before and also something like this doesn't really exist other than scribe itself it's really cool it is super super nice all you have to do is check the first link in the description and go check out scribe and i would highly recommend it to all of you guys watching this video all right guys so the next app on the list goes by the name of todoist and todoist is absolutely amazing now i use todoist on my phone on a daily basis and that is because i need something where i can write down my task lists every day now ironically don't use the app in its full flesh in the app format as you guys can see on the screen but what i do usually use it for is as a go to widget on my home screen so whenever you look at any of my home screen setups earlier i had the stuff widget where i used to put in normal tasks but that was very limiting because it only let me add tasks didn't let me browse how many tasks i had completed or give me any more control to do is does just that so if you need a task manager especially something that you can add tasks and complete them and also track how many tasks you've done lately or how productive you have been this is the best app to do so so the way i use it is i add a widget on my second home screen along with the stats widget at the bottom so over here as you can see i have set a daily limit of 3 tasks per day and weekly i've completed 12 tasks out of 20 and then there is this karma system which is really cool where your karma increases as you keep on you know increasing tasks it gives you a sense of progress and there are different levels which you attain by you know completing tasks and increasing your karma so before i was novice now i've gotten to intermediate and there was also a beginner that was the basic start so i am at the third level right now it's pretty cool to you know keep adding tasks and see what you're doing and other than that todoist also has a lot of cool stuff so you can write down any tasks within the application you can schedule it whether for today tomorrow next weekend or add a date from the calendar you can also add a certain amount of time and clicking on any tasks is going to take you to that task you can add a sub task to it you can duplicate it you can also you know flag it or add a time alarm or add a description and a comment to it so basically if you want a task manager and if you want one application that can do a lot to do 
Bluest is going to be the one you should try out because genuinely, as you can see, I've been using this application. If I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gotten to this karma level. So yeah, it's just a great way to complete daily tasks on the go. Write them down as you think of them and you know, just click on this check mark button as soon as you're done and you'll be good to go. Definitely check it out. I will link it below. All right, guys. So the next app on the list takes productivity to the next level, something that I've been working for a long time. This is Taskade. Taskade is an all-in-one collaboration tool either for your personal business or personal productivity or a remote team. Even if you're a startup company, you can still use Taskade to make the best out of your productivity and your time. So the way Taskade works is through workspaces. So you can add different workspaces. For example, one could be your daily schedule. The other one could be a marketing company that you own. The other one could be your YouTube channel schedule. You name it, Taskade has it. The best part about Taskade is that there's a lot of structure and hierarchy. So you can create a workspace, add your team there. Then you can create folders, which are also known as subspaces. You can add your team there. Certain team members, you can you know tweak their permissions, make sure they're added to one project and not the other. And also, of course, you can create projects wherein you can add your tasks, assign them to people. And the best part about Taskade, I mean, Unlike Todoist, this is not a task manager application or simply a task manager. It's a collaboration app, meaning Taskade number one is absolutely real time. You can use it on your phone. You can use it on your iPad. You can use it on your Android, on your browser, on your computer, your PC, your Mac, what have you. All of it gets updated in real time. So if I add a task in a Taskade project using my phone right now on my computer, it will be updated in real time. And all your team members can update this and see the updated version of the project in real time saves a lot of time, makes sure that everything works across seamlessly and it is a lot of fun to use. If you're using the desktop versions, you also get access to the industry standard views wherein you can look at the same task list in a different way. You've got an action board view, you've got a uh, organizational chart view, a mind map view to brainstorm things, basically different views relating to different sorts of visualization to promote creative ideas. Uh, honestly, for me, managing a full-time YouTube channel along with freelance work and managing a few clients. I don't think I could have done it without Taskade, having the right people set up in the right projects and talking to them about the right things at the right time. Also, Taskade has a chat board on your phone as well as on the PC version. So, you know, you can talk about your teams and you can talk to your people, whatever you want to right in their Taskade. So basically think of it like a collaboration of Google Docs plus something like Asana and Trello all together, meaning you can share files, you can add tasks, you can complete them and you can communicate with your team in the same place. You don't have to use 10 different apps like email or Google Docs or WhatsApp to do one thing. It's great. And the best part, it's absolutely free. All of the features that I spoke about, it's absolutely free. There is a pro plan, but it doesn't, the free plan doesn't take away any core features from you. So it really is a no brainer productivity app of choice. Definitely check it out in case you need something like this to manage your personal productivity or your business. With that said, let's move on to the third application. The third application, Wait, fourth application. Let's move on to the fourth application. The fourth application on the list is again something probably that you guys use, but since the motive of this video is to talk about applications that I really use on a daily basis, I couldn't make this video without talking about Google Docs. Yes, Google Docs is dated. It's it's known for doing the same sort of thing, but it does everything so damn well. So the main reason why I use Google Docs is for all of my documentation needs, whether it is creating a video schedule that I need to adhere to throughout the month, or whether it is something that I need to write scripts for a particular video on, Google Docs is what I choose. I absolutely love it. I love the fact that that too is real time. I could be typing on my computer and when I sit to shoot, I can view the script on my phone just by opening up the Google Docs application. I love the fact that there is voice typing. So if you connect a microphone to your phone or to your computer, you can simply, uh, you know, talk into the mic and the text to speech is absolutely, wait, it's the speech to text is really, really cool and it works seamlessly well, saves a lot of time for me. I don't have to type that much. I can just talk about it and it just types it seamlessly for me and you know it's a great way to have all of your documents in one place so I've been using Google Docs since like early 2015 2016 and all of my documents everything that I have done and everything that I have shot you know all the video lists that I have made all the scripts that I have made all of them are in Google Docs and it really helps me you know keep a track of all the documents I know all of them are in one place it's great lets you print directly lets you save directly is real time of course works really well uh, if you're using an Android device and you want a single, uh, you know, writing application of choice, I think Google Docs is the way to go. So definitely check it out. 
All right, guys, last but definitely not the least, we've got a productivity application that is actually aimed at reducing distractions. So this is called Minimalist Phone. You can think of it like a custom home screen setup or like a launcher, which is designed to improve your focus and reduce the time you spend on your phone. So basically, you your smartphone can become quickly addictive. As we all know, Instagram, I'm looking at you. This application basically curates AI and you know makes your phone work in a certain way where you don't have to use it for a long time and just open your phone, do what you have to do, get out and start focusing on your work because that is more important. Now, as you can see, this is the UI. So if you click on see how your home screen works, there is a main circle inside which there is the clock and it shows you your remaining capacity. You can click on it uh, to open up the clock. You can swipe up to open search to open any application and swipe down to see notifications. Pretty simple. Swipe left to see all of your apps and you can customize your favorite apps and add it to your you know, memory. I have seen apps like this before, but this just does it in a super easy and simple way. And I really, really like the way that this works. So it's really cool. I think this is an application that a lot of you will like, a lot of you who do not want, you know, uh, customization or anything like that. You just want to be productive and you want something on your phone that is pretty simple, reminisce of the old days when we just had a few options we could do on our phones. I think this is a great app to do that with. So you should definitely check it out. And well, guys, those were the top five productivity applications that I've been currently using in 2022. Let me know what you guys thought about the list. If you thought this list is interesting, if you thought the video in general was interesting, which was your favorite application. Once again, a huge shout out to the guys over at Scribe for sponsoring today's video. It's a great service. I mean, if I had an application like that or a software like that, that let me create my own tutorials and share it with people, these YouTube videos would be a lot less easier to make. But now, I do so I'm glad for that so if you if you want something like that be sure to check out scribe from the first link in the description below as always all the other apps will also have links in the description so be sure to check that out leave a comment like this video subscribe to the channel we are super close to 2.5 lakh subscribers or 250,000 would love it if you could hit that subscribe and bell button and make my dream a reality with that said guys this is Anbub signing out I'll catch you guys next time until then you guys have a great day stay safe peace out Thank you.